The next few slides are going to represent uh, the inflammatory form of mammary carcinoma. Uh, this is a very, very malignant tumor that spreads like wildfire, and it has uh, various uh, presentations, but it's important that, that we recognize this and pursue our diagnostic approach in a simplified manner, which basically entails a uh, touch prep or a fine needle aspirate. Uh, these cells do not hide. They are very malignant. Uh, here we see this tumor on a, a corgi, and uh, notice that the mammary glands are thickened, and this will be abnormal in any female dog that is not near parturition or in full-blown pseudopregnancy. In other words, mastitis should not occur in any dog who is quiet in her cycle. And uh, this might start off as mammary thickening, and then you, you, you can see how it parasitized the inside of this thigh, and it will grow exponentially over uh, several days. Very bad tumor. Here we see a close-up view on a uh, white Scottish terrier, her underside. This was diagnosed as a contact dermatitis uh, for a couple weeks, but it wasn't steroid responsive. And again, her mammary glands were hot and somewhat painful, and uh, all of this being caused by the inflammatory carcinoma, which is also known as the lymphangitic form of mammary carcinoma. And I promise all of you that by the time you diagnose this, this tumor is usually well advanced and already uh, on its uh, metastatic course. Uh, here we see a Doberman pincher. Uh, again, uh, looking more like a Guernsey cow than a Doberman. But here again, uh, this dog was uh, quiet in, in her estral cycle, and all of this swollen mammary tissue was uh, carcinoma. Now, when you palpate this tissue, it is uh, distinct from the usual form of mammary carcinoma, which is a firm nodule. These are warm, fluctuant, and uh, very, very inflammatory by all uh, definitions of that word, all, char all characteristics of, of that word. And there's not much that you can do for these. If you try to remove them, you're basically wasting uh, the client's money because uh, you're not going to get uh, three centimeters of, uh, of uh, clean tissue on these when you do your resection. So it's a fatal disease, unfortunately. And uh, here's another example, uh, this uh, row of mammary tissue on this particular lab. Uh, this dog also had 104 temperature, and she had a 98,000 white count. So it's very tempting to pursue infection on these. The thing is, dogs that are in the quiet part of their estrocycle do not have inflamed mammary glands. And that should be your signal for approaching this as a potential Ill, as a potential uh, serious disease on these patients. And uh, these animals are usually uh, intact or they were spayed late, late in life where um, the cancer would, would still likely occur.